Hello there, welcome back to the brand new video. In today's video, let's talk about the proxy meter sensor is not working on our Android device. You might ask, well, when do I know and how do I know that whether my proxy meter sensor is working or not? Now, every time when you just receive a call and whenever you try to place your phone right to your ear, if you see the light doesn't go off or it goes off and on, at the same time, if you found out that your auto brightness is not working on your Android device, that could mean you have a problem with your proximity sensor. In that case, you want to just go ahead and take some necessary steps to solve the problem. Alright guys, now here's the things. Although we are using the Google Pixel 6 for this video, but you can use any Android device to solve your problem. Now, the first things we're going to talk about is the proximity sensor itself. Now, this problem mainly happens whenever you're led to the front part of your device right here, when it gets dirty or when there's a dirt in particular gets stuck right here, then this issue can happen. Therefore, the first necessary step would be go ahead and grab a cloth and clean this up very carefully. After that, check. If you still have the same problem here, the next thing we're going to talk about is your screen protector. If you're using a screen protector with your Android device, which is not compatible, then this issue can happen with your device. In that case, go ahead and just try to change your screen protector just to see if that works or not. Let's say you have done doing these two processes, but still you got a problem with your device. In that case, the next thing we're going to talk about is giving you force restart on your Android device to solve the problem. Sometimes, if this happens because of minor bugs or glitches, then quickly giving you force restart can solve the problem. Now, to do it on your Android device, all you can do is just go ahead and press that volume up button and the power button and keep it holding unless your device gets restarted. Well, after giving a forced restart, your problem should be solved. Well, now, at this point of time, if you want to figure out whether this problem is happening for hardware, then the next things we're going to tell you to check is your auto brightness thing. So, all you want to do, just go ahead and open up your settings and tap on your display. And here, tap on the brightness level. Then all you want to do, just go ahead and just put your brightness level very low and then go ahead and use a light on top of your proximity sensor and then see whether your brightness goes up automatically or not. If you see your brightness is not coming up high or if it's not increasing, that could mean you have a problem with the hardware. Well now, before we go ahead and take your Android device to anywhere to solve your hardware related problem, there's a one last thing that you guys can do to solve your problem. Now, if that doesn't work, then you can take your Android device to wherever you want to solve the problem. Now, to do that process, Open up your setting once again, scroll down here and tap on your system. Or you can simply look for this option called Reset. Just go ahead and tap on the Reset option and now go ahead and choose this option called Reset Wi-Fi Mobile and Bluetooth. Go ahead and tap on there, tap Reset All Settings, tap Reset Settings and right after that, go ahead and check whether your problem is solved or not. However, if you have a problem with the hardware, still you will not be able to solve the problem unless you take your device to any care to solve the problem. Alright guys, so these are the ways that you guys can follow to solve your proximity sensor is not working on your Android device. I hope you find this video useful. If you think so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Peace out.